ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Nick Beasley Show. Football is back! NFL football is back, and I watched Bo Nick's debut in the preseason against the Indianapolis Colts today. And look, I, I covered Bo Nix when I was at the Senior Bowl um, doing media. I covered his college career from Auburn to Oregon. He went to a high school about 15 minutes away from me. Um, so I've, I followed his I have followed his career uh, from high school to college to the pros. Bo Nix is going to be a great pro. Before we get into this video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please watch this video all the way through because I'm going to break down what happened today for Bo Nix. So, Bo Nix's passing numbers today. Bo's preseason debut for the Denver Broncos. 15 for 21, 125 yards, one passing touchdown. He did not have any interceptions, but on four drives, they scored four times with Bo. They scored two touchdowns and two field goals. So he either got you down there to get you in field goal range, or he got you down there to get you the touchdown that you so desperately, your Broncos fans desperately, desperately wanted and desperately, desperately needed. And somebody that has watched Bo from Auburn to Oregon, his progression from Auburn to Oregon was fantastic. Obviously, Dan Landing is a much better coach than Brian Harson. We can all agree on that. I was interested to see today, how did he look in Sean Payton's offense? Everybody says that he's a lot like Drew Brees. Everybody says that he moves, like his throwing motion is like Drew. You know, he's a big dude. He's a bit, he's taller than Drew. He's more athletic than Drew, I, I believe. I think Drew got more athletic throughout his career, but certainly Bo is more athletic than Drew ever was. Broncos fans, you have nothing to worry about. You've got one. Now, when I was at the Senior Bowl, obviously I got to cover him. I got to watch him. I got to uh, talk to him, uh, doing media, uh, being around him when he was doing interviews. He's a good guy. He Great player, humble, and he will be a stand-up player for the Broncos organization. But his play today, the way I, here's what I worry about with rookie quarterbacks, and we saw it all weekend with all the rookies except for one. But with all the rookies, pretty much, we saw they can command the offense. They can they can handle getting it caught into their ears and then having to tell the players, you know, in the huddle. They can handle going under center. Because something that something that college quarterbacks don't do anymore is go under center. Bo did that today. Bo did that a lot today. Um, not as much as I would have liked to have seen. But he's also in a West Coast offense and Sean Payton's offense. So they're going to play more spread anyway. So Bo's going to be in the shotgun a lot more with that type of offense with Sean Payton. But he fits that bill perfectly. Bo Nix solidified today. He is the starter in, in Denver. He played better than Jarrett Stidham. He played better than Zach Wilson. I'm just going to read you guys the stat line for all three quarterbacks because they all three played. Bo Nix, 15 for 21, 125 passing yards, one touchdown. Zach Wilson, 10 for 13, 117 passing yards, didn't have a touchdown. Jared Stidham, 4 for 7, 37 yards, and one touchdown. Bo Nix played with the ones at the end of the first quarter. He carried that into the second quarter, playing with the ones again. He started the third quarter with some of the twos. I liked how they did, how they handled Bo's debut. I like the fact that they were like, you're not going to start. Stidham's going to start. You can watch from the sideline and learn how to control the offense, learn how it works. But as soon as he's done, we're going to put you in. I think Stidham got like two drives. That's all Stidham needed because Bo's the starter. And if you're a Broncos fan, you have to be happy with how this game ended up being. High scoring in the preseason is something we don't see a lot. But a rookie quarterback to command that offense for your starting wide receivers, your starting halfback, 
You're starting off with the line to say, this is our guy. This is the guy we want playing quarterback with us on Sunday, week one. It just is a beautiful thing. Bo is going to be the starter. And I know there was a lot made this year or th- this week about Bo being number three on the depth chart. Every rookie on every team was named number three. I think except for the Commanders and the Browns. Or, I'm sorry, the Commanders and the Bears. All the other rookies were put at number three. Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, Bo Nix, Penix. They were all the threes. But none of them played in the three slot. They all got into the game. They all played early. They all played with ones. And you, for the most part. And you needed that. These rookies, reps are going to be very important. But Bo Nix, coming out of college, is the most pro-ready quarterback in this draft class, and he proved it today. He proved it today that he is the most pro-ready. He is the most ready to take the Sean Payton offense and carry it. He is going to be, for the Denver Broncos, what Sean Payton was, or what Drew Brees was for New Orleans. He's that good. I know it's just one game. I know it's the preseason. He's that good. Bo absolutely crushed it today. Even like him being able to step up in the pocket and then escape from pressure and move around the pocket and just, he was doing it calmly. The game wasn't too, a lot of times we talk about the game being too fast in the NFL. Not for Bo. Bo did not seem rattled at all. He did not seem nervous at all. He was exactly what he needed to be, which is a starting caliber quarterback in the NFL. That's what he is. That's what he's going to be. He's going to start week one. He will start from day one for this Denver Broncos team because he gives their receivers the best chance to win. He can throw the deep ball and he can give a guy, he can throw the deep ball and give a guy a one on one chance and the guy take it. Bo will put the ball where his receivers can only get it. Bo will develop in this system. And the only way I think he can develop is to start. Bo played great today. And I, and I genuinely believe this. Bo Nix may end up winning Offensive Rookie of the Year. I know it's August 11th, and what am I doing? Putting that kind of pressure on this kid. He's that good. I think he will be the best quarterback, at least the best pro-ready quarterback out of this draft class, out of this rookie class. I love Jada Daniels. I thought it was him. I watched his game. You know, because I, I watched him play. Bo's better. M- not athletically. Not the magic stuff. Bo is the better pure passer. Bo is the better quarterback. Bo is the better pro-ready, let-me-take-you-to-the-promised-land quarterback. He's also got a great offensive-minded head coach in Sean Payton, who we all saw what he did with Drew Brees. Obviously, it didn't work out with Russell Wilson. But I wanted to see three things today. How would Bo Nick's feet look in the pocket? Would the game be too fast for Bo? And could he, on time, make throws, accurate throws, in Sean Payton's offense? And could he comprehend and understand Sean Payton's offense? All three of those questions were answered for me today in one game. I have no problem saying Bo Nix is a starter in Denver. The Colts, as far as Anthony Richardson, he looked good. He didn't get enough time, I don't believe. Bo got plenty of time, and Bo proved he's going to be the best rookie quarterback. It's not going to be Caleb Williams. It's not going to be uh, Jaden Daniels. It's not going to be J.J. McCarthy. McCarthy probably won't even start. It's not going to be uh, Michael Penix. He won't start. It is going to be Bo Nix. Bo is the best pure passer in this draft class. Jaden is a close second, but Bo is also the best pro-ready quarterback in the draft class. So if you're a Broncos fan, be excited because you got one. You've got the guy you've been wanting since 2015. Finally, you got it right. Sean Payton has his quarterback for the future. And this is a young team, too. Their tight end is young. Their receivers are young outside of maybe Tim Patrick and Sutton. Like, this is a young team. 
And yeah, your cap hit because of Russell Wilson, but that's only for one year. You'll be fine next year, and you'll go get more pieces for Bo. I don't know if they win. I don't know if they make the playoffs because of the division they play in and the fact that that division has Justin Herbert and Patrick Mahomes. But I completely think they will not. They'll they'll finish third in the division for sure. Maybe second behind the char, uh, ahead of the Chargers, depending on this uh, injury that Justin Herbert is suffering through. I think Bo is that good. I think Bo will become the second best quarterback in that division. And I think very quickly it'll be Bo Nix versus Patrick Mahomes in that division for it is gonna be the Broncos or the Chiefs to win the division. I think Bo very quickly, maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but year three, can be a guy that can go take the division from Mahomes and the Chiefs. I genuinely believe that. And I'm not just blowing smoke up y'all's butt. I genuinely believe he is that good. That good. But anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of Bo Nix's performance today. Where do you see him in uh, September when the season starts? Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, again, guys, I cannot stress this enough. Please watch my videos all the way through. It really helps out the channel. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.